Analytic functions are important for us because all our theorems we'll encounter later on only hold for analytic functions. And since we now know what the derivative of a function is, we are also ready to introduce analytic functions in this video. So what does this mean? f of z is analytic in some open set f, s, if well, f prime of z exists everywhere in the set s. So a function is analytic in some set s if you can differentiate it everywhere in your open set s. Now what's analytic at a point? f of z is analytic in a point set 0, not if f of z is differentiable at this point set 0, it's a bit stronger. Uh, f of z is analytic in some open set containing z0. So differentiability at only this point is not enough. You need to have some small open neighborhood around your point in which you can differentiate your function. Oh, okay. And then, uh, final definition, really nice functions are entire functions, because then f of z is analytic in all of c. So let's take a look at a few examples. Uh, suppose we have f from c to c, f of z equals z squared. We know that we can differentiate f of z everywhere, which means that f of z is analytic everywhere. So f of z is an example of an entire function. Next example, f from c without zero to c f of z equals one over z. We have seen that we can uh, differentiate f of z everywhere in uh, c without zero, because f prime equals minus one over z squared, which means that f of z is analytic in the whole set C without zero, which is an open set. Third example, we saw f from C to C, f of z equals the modulus of z squared. Now we saw that we could differentiate f only at zero, so f is differentiable only at z equals zero. So we are not able to find any open neighborhood around this point uh, uh, zero where f is analytic, which means that f is nowhere analytic. Even though it's differentiable at one point, that's not enough. You need to be able to find some neighborhood in which f is differentiable, which is impossible in this case. Uh, this f of z is nowhere analytic. So how can we see uh, whether f of z is analytic or not? Well, we know how we can check differentiability. You have uh, Riemann equations. I can see whether the partial derivatives are continuous. That's how you can see where the function is analytic. But you can also use that all those rules for differentiation hold, which means that if you have, if you know from some functions that they are analytic, that you can use that sums or products and quotients or compositions of analytic functions are also analytics as long as you're not dividing by zero, of course. So here you have two ways in which you can check whether your function is analytic or not.